Lola is six years old. She loves when she and her mom Megan read picture books together. But Lola is almost ready to start reading chapter books. So Megan has chosen a chapter book for their reading aloud time today. The book is Cat and Mouse in a Haunted House. Megan is going to read the book aloud. But notice how she uses the cover and the title page to develop Lola's reading skills. Can you read that title for me? Yes. Cat and Mouse in a Haunted House. That's great. Do you know what the word haunted means? Yes. What does it mean? It means something scary is going to happen. Mm, sometimes. Or sometimes it means that there are ghosts and definitely scary things that are going on in the house. And this book is written by Geronimo mm. Stilton. Stilton. And the first page says, Dear Mouse Friends, welcome to the world of... Geronimo Stilton. Perfect. And that's Geronimo Stilton. And the first chapter is called, It Was a Foggy October Night. Notice what Megan did in the segment you just watched. First, she helped Lola spell and sound out words. Megan also paused to ask about the meaning of the word haunted, a good way to help expand Lola's vocabulary. Also, when Megan announced the first chapter, she helped Lola understand how a book with chapters is structured. Watch as Megan continues reading aloud, and especially notice how much expression she puts into her reading. You don't have to be an actor to read in a way that brings the words alive for your child. My sister stamped over to the bed. She ripped the covers off me. Geronimo, she barked. How much cheese did you eat tonight? I chewed my whiskers. Very little, I'm telling you, I insisted. Just then Trap peeked into the room. Very little, my paw, he chuckled. He probably ate so much his stomach begged him to stop. You know, Jerry Berry, you can have terrible nightmares when you eat too much before bed. He poked me in the tummy. You probably dreamed up all sorts of scary thingies like ghosts and mummies and witches. I shook my head. Why wouldn't anyone ever listen to me? For the last time, I'm telling you, I only ate a tiny piece of Swiss cheese, I squeaked. Of course, I got trap started on the dangers of going to bed on an empty stomach. That's even worse than eating too much, he shouted. Meanwhile, Benjamin was checking out the mirror, the walls, and a chest of drawers standing in the dark corner of the room. He scratched the fur on top of his head. Tell me, uncle, he whispered in my ear. Are you positive you saw the witch reflected in that mirror? I nodded. You do believe me, don't you? Remember these tips when reading aloud to your early reader. Read with lots of expression. Don't be afraid to ham it up. Help your child identify and read words. Talk about words to expand vocabulary. And above all, make reading aloud together a warm, close experience that both you and your child will cherish.